For this activity, we are going to make some birdhouse collages. First, you're going to need to make a background. I used watercolor, but if you don't have that, you could use any type of paint, or you could use markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever materials you have at home. Remember, you can use whatever colors you want. For the sky, I painted with a horizontal or back and forth motion. And for grass on the ground, I used vertical strokes. While you let the background dry, you can get started on the birdhouse. For the birdhouse, you can use tag board or thin cardboard like from a cereal box. Use a ruler to measure out a square. I created a 5 inch by 5 inch square, but you could make one that is bigger or smaller. Then use your ruler to draw a triangle on top of the square for the roof. Then carefully cut your birdhouse out with a scissors. Now it's time to decorate your birdhouse using collage. Collage is when we use scissors and glue and lots of different kinds of papers. So you can look around your house for old magazines, newspapers, construction paper, scrapbook paper, really any paper you can find. Look for colors and patterns that you like. Then cut out pieces and glue them to your birdhouse. If your pieces are larger than your birdhouse, flip your project over and cut off any excess. Keep adding pieces until your entire project is filled with color. Next, you're going to create the hole in your birdhouse. To do this, you're going to need to cut a circle out of a piece of cardboard or tag board. First, cut out a square about the size of the circle you want. Next, I like to imagine my scissors is like a hungry monster and he's going to cut off all four corners in four big bites. Your square has now become an octagon with eight corners. Now your scissors is still just a little bit hungry, so he's just going to nibble on each of those eight corners. As he nibbles on the corners, your octagon will slowly start turning into more of a circle. You can keep going around your circle to make it a little bit smoother. If you have some aluminum foil in the house, you can add a little bit of shine to your project by wrapping the aluminum foil around your circle. Just put a little bit of glue on the back to hold it in place. Then glue to your project and hold it down for a few seconds to make it stick. Now I'm just going to add a few more details to my project, add a post for my birdhouse to stand on, and glue it to my background. Make sure to add a little space at the top about the width of your hand so that you have room for a bird. The final step is to add a bird to your project. You can make a bird lots of different ways. One way is to use lots of half circle shapes. Here I used a half circle for the body. Then I did the square to circle method to create a head. And then I did another half circle for the wings. I added a triangle for the beak. And then I glued all of my pieces down using dot dot, not a lot. If you want to add an eye, you can add a little piece for the eye. Since we're doing collage, try to cut and glue rather than draw. You 
you can also add another half circle for the tail if you want to. If you want, you can add more birds. Maybe you add a bird for each member of your family. This would be a great project to give to your mom or grandma for Mother's Day. Hope you have fun creating, and as always, I'd love to see your art if you'd like to share it with me.